Yo, Genki. Dude, Rhino? What? <laughs> yeah. Where you at? You get into the apartment okay? Yeah, your mom let me in. Unpacked slash dumped my stuff all over your floor. And now I'm in the park, grabbing some air. Oh, perfect! Dip over to the amphitheater. Got something to show you. Dude, is this spider related? Yeah. Please tell me you got a piece of Rhino's horn or something. Pics I've seen of the fight are straight up nuts. <laughs> definitely spider related. And definitely better than a horn. Oh, loving the suspense. I'm there. I will never get used to you doing that. Hey, look, check it. Christmas present from Spider-Man. Open it. <sighs> Dude, put it on. I'll cover you. Oh, what? <laughs> never seen a guy change clothes in Central Park? Okay. How's it looking? Whoa. Miles Morales, congratulations and welcome to your very first super suit. Head uptown for part two of this amazing gift. This is only half of the present. What's the other half? I'll let you know when I find it. Welcome to Just the Facts, with me, your truth-slinging host with the most, J. Jonah Jameson. What? Does Pete set his suits to autoplay Jameson's show? Guy's a masochist. Sad news, listeners. My Christmas charity spectacular was canceled due to mass vigilante mayhem. Gotta be something better on. <sighs> Been hearing good things about this one. I'm Danica Hart, and this is The Danicast, where I spotlight the people making a real difference in our city. Today's topic? Oh, well, you know, stockbrokers, for-profit colleges, maybe the people who make internet videos autoplay. <laughs> no, obviously we're covering the Spider-Man's incredible takedown of Rhino. Subscribe. Danicast, new favorite podcast. the place. Looks like Pete set up a lot of gear. Miles, get ready for your first holographic training challenge. These challenges are spread throughout the city. Each one focuses on a new move or technique. This one focuses on acrobatic improvisation. Get into position to start. Power training? Up, air combat. Oh, I am so Fighting down. Fighting the enemy on your terms is a great way to gain the advantage. Yeah. 
Now follow up with a mid-air attack. And now a personal favorite, the swing kick. This holotech is next gen. With the right parts, but I can make it portable. Target two. Another key spider skill, disarm it. Disarmed opponents are far less dangerous. And it's crazy satisfying to knock guys out with their own weapons. Total twofer. Alright, yeah. This is dope. Bless Peter Parker. Now let's combine these two moves. Attacking airborne enemies is a great method of crowd control. Plus, the sounds they make are hilarious. Slam! Blast! Target CX is rapidly changing. Is this the up? Surprise round! Think fast! Alright, I'm feeling this! More guys incoming! Heads up! Time for some freeform practice! Use air combat and disarming to eliminate these enemies! Attack successful! High tech gear we can sell. <laughs> oh crap. Spider Man! <laughs> Take him out! Then grab the gear! Y'all trying to catch some hands? Yeah? Okay, let's go! Take the spider out and grab the tech gear! Gonna make bank sales and stuff off! Just so you know, this is official Spider Man tech! Y'all are not authorized to resell! First of all, entertainment is online. The game is these guys are see-through! How are these guys see-through? Welcome to Advanced Quick Training. But remember, specificity is the heart of every great way. For example, instead of, hey, I'm going Oh, nice job! Wait, that, that's your face? Ugh. That's not a quip. That's a straight-up burn! Be practicing, so you'll be equipping like a pro. pro. That's it for the tech thieves. Now to fix a training sim. Colonel Panic. Well, let's try a BIOS reset. Nice! That did it. it. Looks like P made stealth, swinging, and combat challenges. Gotta check these out when I get a chance. on Plaza on your way home. I just walked by and I'm pretty sure someone's breaking in. Uh, yeah. 
I'll look into it. Hey, so I want to hear more about your new spider powers. I think it's some kind of bioelectric discharge or supercharged static electricity. Ooh, we gotta name it. How about venom power? You know, because it stings. <laughs> okay, that's not bad. I'm gonna run. Plaza first, then home. Remember, venom power. Trust me, it's gold. about this podcast. We've jumped in parts from 136 to 87. Like, uh, wow. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Today I'm doing a quick cast before I head downtown for my citizenship test, and I'm answering fan DMs. First one, where are you from, Danica? Well, I was born in Fuzhou, China, but we came to New York when I was six. Next question, what kind of mic do you use? Uh, purple one? I'm just kidding. <laughs> the link's on my phone. Uh, okay. Hi there, I'm Simon Krieger, and what you're standing next to is a new form reactor. Once activated, this reactor will supply enough energy to power all of Harlem. Now, I'm sure you're thinking, Simon, how is that possible? And the answer is new form. Just one canister of this revolutionary fuel source is enough to supply Harlem with clean, safe energy for the next 500 years. Soon, we'll be opening reactors throughout Manhattan and then worldwide. Get ready for a planet powered by Nuvor. Roxxon, we're here for you. What was that? Hmm. No sign of anybody. They broke a bunch of stuff. Maybe they were looking for something. Huh. They did a search for new form. What were they gonna do with it? <laughs>
world yet. You're talking about shipments. Hey, I did that grocery shopping your mom wanted, but she's wondering where you are. Dinner's almost ready. Crap. Okay. I'll try to wrap this up. Thanks, man. They're moving the new form into the plasma. They were talking about new form shipments. I need to figure out what they found so I know where they're gonna hit next. They were tracking new form shipments. But why? Rock's on security. They can take it from here. Yeah. Gotta look into this later. I gotta get home. Christmas dinner sounding pretty good right about now. I'll look into that group and the new phone shipments tomorrow. <laughs>